guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. I'm going to be very briefly giving some of my some of I'm going to be very briefly giving you guys some tips or maybe even slight advice, I guess you could call it, on being a new stepmom. I am married. I have been married for four years. I got married when I was 24, 23. And well, I was I was 23, turning 24 rather, and now I am 27. My kids are now five and six, and it has definitely been a wild ride. I can 100% say, as someone who didn't have any kids, and who's never been a mother, and never did any of the type of things that you have to do when you become a mom before, it has definitely been extremely difficult for me. But I must admit that there is something so beautiful and so wonderful about it that I'm actually addicted to and I have totally embraced and I just want to share what I have learned. So I'm basically going to be breaking it down into about four or five tips that I have learned and hopefully these will help you because if you are 24 and older, you are most likely going to date someone that has a kid, marry, some, marry someone that has a kid, and you're going to be a step-parent. The number one thing about being a step parent is really making sure that you evaluate and understand what your role needs to be within your blended family. So if you come into the family and say if you are dating a man with a child, if the father, I'm sorry, if the mother is not really prominent in their lives and they don't really have like a mother figure, um, they may be looking towards you to be that and you need to evaluate within yourself if that's something that you're comfortable doing, if that's something that you really want to do, if you want to step up to the plate and do that because depending on how young they are, they are going to be looking to you as their mommy and that could be uncomfortable for a lot of reasons. But a lot of times what people fail to realize is that children do not understand biological relationships. Um, children much not much beyond the fact that we tell them oh this person is your grandma or this person is your aunt this person is your uncle or you know this person is your father this person is your mother children mostly understand those relationships based off of how the adults around them label that person if i have a friend and she becomes a really good a really great friend of mine and i start telling my kids oh this is auntie susan just for an example oh this is auntie susan my children will start calling her Auntie Susan because I, someone that they trust, that they believe in, has called this person Auntie Susan. So to them, they have an Aunt Susan. Even if they've never met this person, they don't understand the biological connection to that person because, because I call them their aunt. They believe me. And then say if my husband comes along and says, oh, guys, we're taking you to Auntie Susan's house. Now that's another person that's an authority in their life telling them that this person is their aunt. So that's how children accept relationships. If you pretty much act like their mother, you protect them, you take care of them, you love them, you nurture them, they're gonna receive you as their mother. Same, same thing works if you are a father, or should I say a young man, stepping into a relationship with a single mother. My second tip um, is basically, you need to develop your own individual relationships with the children or child, however I many children are going on there, you guys need to have your own relationship. So if that means spending time with them, um, going on outings with them, not so much about buying their time or buying their love and acceptance. It's about you physically being there, showing up and showing that you're a part of their life now. And once they start to see that consistently, they will immediately put you in the category that they want to put you in and your relationship will follow right after that. So number three, I would say basically you need to figure out this is really what you want to do. And this might be, I might even replace it with number one. You need to figure out if you want to be an active, participating step parent. If you don't, you need to have this conversation with your partner early on as possible. And you need to be honest with them and say to them, hey, I don't know what the f I'm doing. I don't want to do this. I don't, you know, I feel uncomfortable. Whatever the case may be, this 
may be a deal breaker for someone that has a child. But you need to at least be honest with yourself. I am living proof of being raised by, or should I say being or living in a house with a step parent that had no interest in me, had no desire to, to, to nurture me, take care of me, protect me, any of those things that I previously named. And it was extremely obvious to me as a child. And it actually caused a huge wedge between my father and I when I realized that he picked a mate that did not want to take a did not want to take part in raising me. Of course, as an adult, I have adult words to use for that. But as a child, I thought it was very strange that I'm supposed to call this woman mommy or mom, and she acts nothing like a mom to me. Number four, you are going to have a lot of adversity, especially if you are an active step parent that actually shows up and parents the children. You're going to have a lot of people having a problem with that, being like, oh, how dare you, and this, that, and the third, and all this other stuff. Once again, like I pointed out in the beginning, children do not care about the labels that people have in terms of how it should be, in terms of who they are biologically related to. If a child feels like someone is loving them and protecting them, then the child will accept them loving them and protecting them. And so if you as a biological mom or dad made the proper connection with your child in the beginning when you were supposed to, I think it's called a secure bond or something like that, there would be no space for anyone else to come in and fill that. If anything, this child would say, oh, I have one parent or now I have one mommy, but now I have two or I have one daddy, but now I have two. That's what the child will do. So if the child is not realizing that they have two mommies or two daddies and they're starting to prioritize one mommy over the other or one daddy over the other, it's usually because you as a parent somewhere along the line did not show up for your own child. And so this usually causes a reaction towards the step parent who is now fulfilling that role towards that child to receive backlash and anger and rage and all the kind of things that come along with parents being territorial. If you, once again, are not prepared to deal with this, do not head down this road. But I will say, um, I have dealt with this quite a lot. And the way I've gotten through it is I pretty much, I just ignore it. Because especially if it's from someone who does not live in my household and does not see close up the interactions that I have with my stepkids, then your opinion to me is it's kind of like, I don't care. And they don't care either. So <laughs> my last tip would pretty much be you guys as a family need to spend a lot of time cultivating and blending your family, blending everyone together, everyone's personalities, blending your parenting styles, all of these types of things. You guys need to work on that and work on that kind of thoughtfully. And the reason why is because you want everything to be as seamless as possible, as you can possibly have it. Of course, there's, you know, families are not perfect. Every, every adult in the child's life is not going to be cooperative. And you're going to have to do the best you can. And that is why, at least at home, within your family unit, within your immediate family unit, your partner, you the step parent, the kid, the children, you guys need to work on being as tight as you can because... That is what's going to ensure the bond. That's what's going to ensure um, the, the blending of a family. I do think that we are getting more into a society where people have kids coming into marriages. And this is going to become a real thing. Like, step parents are going to become much more common. And we need to be really open and, and, and accepting towards different types of families. We really need to make sure that we're encouraging those men and women who decide to step up and, and, and be a part of the of the child's life in a positive way. If you know a step parent out there that is working their hardest to step up and love on their kids and help support their kids, help take care of their, their kids, like they're their own kids, encourage them. Let them know that what they're doing is special and try to give them support because trust me, it is not easy. So those are my tips or I guess you could say my advice on being a step parent. I hope that helpful maybe it gave you some new insight and thank you so much for watching take care and have a blessed day